Good morning, Force. I'm Gabrielle Jones. And I'm Suri M. Today's date is September 22nd, and you're watching WCAT. NHS applications are still open. If interested, just scan the QR code on any of the flyers around school to gain access to the application. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Crawford in room B250. October 5th will be retakes and absentee pictures for staff and underclass. This should only take a period or so, so you will not be there all day since it's just retakes. If there are any seniors who still need pictures, they can make an appointment online for the Ocala Studio on October 9th after school. This will likely be their last opportunity to be photographed for the yearbook. They should book online ASAP so they do not miss it. An ongoing issue we have in our school is the lack of participation, whether it's joining clubs, volunteering, or even games for our sports teams. Let's learn more with Lauren and Emily. Here at Forest, there are many activities students can participate in with countless dances, clubs, and sporting events that you could think of. This leads us to the question, are students actually taking advantage of these activities and being involved? It's understandable if you can't make it to some after-school activities due to homework or you having to study, especially since students are taking more AP classes this year. Usually lots of students turn out to our football games, but for a lot of the other sports, the student section tends to be pretty bare. Exactly, Emily. I myself have been to quite a few softball games where the student sections were pretty empty. Our student athletes would surely appreciate some more support. Not only does Forest have sports, but many clubs to choose from. Students are bound to find at least one thing that they're interested in. Especially since Forest holds club rush at the beginning of each school year, showing off all of our amazing clubs. Yet, many students don't even bother checking them out, and if they do, they'll sign up, but never actually attend the meetings. Our time in high school is limited. We should do our best to make the most of it. Whether it be dressing up for homecoming week or showing our school, school spirit, spirit at pep rallies, we should try our best to participate in any school activity we can. This has been Lauren Mano and Emily Gilbert reporting, reporting for, for WCAT. The lack of participation isn't only an issue at Forest, but an issue at all high schools. You're only a high school student once, so don't waste your time because you might miss out. Those interested in doing lunch and a book, please email Mrs. Pollers or stop by and sign. We will start the first week of October. The book club will provide the first lunch and it will be pizza. Students do not have to join the book club, but those who do not join will need it either, pay, either to pay for the pizza or bring their lunch. Book club will meet on Thursday, September 28th. Both me meetings will be held in the library during cat period. Passes will be given out to students who have their paperwork in. Due to the library being closed for testing last week and this week, students may turn in their FHS Book Club, FHS Nerds, or Library Volunteer Team paperwork by the end of the day on Tuesday, September 26th. There is no deadline for Book Bowl except if you want to pass to the meeting. If you cannot make it to the library, you can drop off the paperwork at the front desk and Mrs. Peak will get it to Mrs. Polers. Continuing the topic of the library-related events, the winner for the Welcome Back and Choose to Read Gumball giveaway has been chosen. Let's see who it is. So the Choose to Read uh, contest was basically where students were checking out books and every time they checked out a book their name went into a drawing and of course we had one winner. So what I gave away for Choose to Read was a gumball machine and I gave them the choice of gumballs or Skittles but I actually gave them both. I wanted it to be a surprise um, so what we did was we found out where her class was and we just kind of showed up and knocked on the door and called her out. She wasn't sure if she was in trouble or anything and she came out and she was very surprised that she had won this. Okay, you won. Oh, oh I won? Yes. And um, believe it or not, it was almost 600 kids who checked out books, so you won out of 600 entries. We, I do these kind of contests and incentives all year. We're going to be doing something called the ABCs of reading, and it's basically going to be poetry and or a wordle using the letters of the alphabet. We're also going to be doing Boo Book Fest, where when students check out books in October, their name goes into a drawings for Halloween gift bags. And then, of course, during Christmas time, December, 
We do uh, ornament, Christmas ornaments uh, that deal with reading and or uh, books. Students, please check your student email to see if you have any library or textbook debt. Be sure to clear any debt you have before homecoming. You can pay overdue fines and printing fees in person in the library or online in RevTrack, the school's web store. Lost books must be paid for in RevTrack, and any books you owe to other schools must be paid for in that school's web store. Also, students, make sure you're getting your parking passes as the deadline is October 11th. If you're parked on campus without a pass by October 13th, you will be fined. If you are interested in dual enrollment, stop by Guidance to sign up. Now let's pass it over to Yezin for all of our sports updates. What's up, Forrest? It's Yezin Jawad here with all your sports news for today. Tonight, our varsity football team will be playing against Denellen. Winning this game will put our Cats at a record of 3-1, to one, so be sure to wish them good luck. This upcoming Monday will be Student Appreciation Night for all the girls volleyball for the game at Buholtz. Any students with a valid ID will be admitted to the volleyball game for free. Come out and support your girls. Due to a situation with Trinity, the girls volleyball game next Thursday is canceled. The coaches are working on a date to reschedule. Any students interested in trying out for competition cheer will need to attend the, in the interest meeting on September 27th at 6 p.m. in the FHS cafeteria. This meeting is for, st is for current FHS students and parents. Anyone interested in trying out for soccer this year, uh, the preseason conditioning is on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4.30. Tryouts will be on October 16th through, through, October 16th through the 19th from 3.30 to 5.30. Lacrosse conditioning will begin October 2nd. That's all the sports news we have for you today. Make sure you uh, to check tomorrow, <laughs> check back tomorrow for any more sports news. Now back to our anchors. See, we've been working on many projects for a film competition known as FSPA. One of the prompts that we were given was rags to riches for a short comedic film. Let's see what our film team did. So, tell me your story from the very beginning. It was, it was black, black and warm, but. There's a light. It, it's getting brighter. Uh, it, it hurts. There's men, doctors. Uh, I'm at a little earlier than that. Oh, I see. Yes, before my invention, I did work at a high school. Not as a teacher or a principal. No. I was the janitor. Oh my god, being the janitor was the worst. Wiping and cleaning and cleaning and wiping. I faced a lot of hardship for those I sacrificed for. Hey! I swear I felt myself losing it sometimes. Every day just sweeping and wiping and mopping and sweeping and wiping and mopping and sweeping and mopping and cleaning 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 and cleaning. Hey, hey, all right, don't get yourself too worked up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I get pretty worked up when I talk about cleaning. So when exactly was it that you had the idea, anyway? Inspiration struck me through a divine apparition. So of course, I immediately went to the drawing boards.
It was my own creation. I was a modern day Prometheus. Just as he had provided the people with fire, I provided them with a great piece of art. It was my Mona Lisa, my Venus de Milo, my graduation album. So, what exactly does it do? What doesn't it do? The cessation of pet trash has been taken in the nation of Alaska. Teens are going crazy about pet trash. Now back to Ruben. After the initial boom, we tried to diversify. I tried to market my magnum opus to the best of my ability. It was my own creation. I was a modern day Prometheus. So what did really happen with your product? I mean, why don't we see it today? Well, I think people don't understand real art. They'll say, oh, its production value is bad, or, oh, it doesn't seem to have much effort put into it. It's becoming moldy. It's a health hazard for my newborn. Mine's like brown and mushy. I think it's mold. Um, I don't think this is safe. It's just a water bottle with eyes. That must have really tanked your business. Sure did, but I kept my chin up, cuffs out, and took those lawsuits like a man. So, how did you really recover after all of that? No, no, I am in copious amounts of debt. Oh. Yes, just as Prometheus, I was punished eternally for the gift I'd given the world. Back in janitoring, I had to make my own. Our team did a great job, and I can't wait to see how this film does in competition. Make sure to stay on the lookout for more films we complete in the future. While students, that's all the updates we have for you today. To stay updated on all things for us, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on all our social media platforms, such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, X formerly known as Twitter, and the new app Threads. Once again, I'm Gabrielle. And I'm Suri. Thanks for tuning in, and like always, go Cats!